Okay guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime. If there's nothing I like more than easy decor, it's free decor. Today we are taking old pallet wood. I'm gonna show you an easy trick for making a DIY wood stain using things you have at home. It really is that mind blowing. Let's jump into it. DIY ready. <laughs> Since quarantine, I haven't been able to get together with friends in the same way, and my assistant I haven't seen in forever, but when I was walking the dog by her house, I saw she had wood pallets in her driveway. I just dropped off a camera at Jess's house. Look what she has in her backyard from a landscape project. Those are pallets, friends. I'm totally gonna text her. And I said, girl, would you cut those down for me? And that way we could do a really easy socially distanced DIY. And she was all about it. Trying out my first solo filming to help out Catherine. So hopefully it works out. We'll see. I think that's good. If you've done any type of yard work, you know the pallets. You can cut them down using a handsaw or you can use a circular saw. And that way it takes out the outside nails to make it super easy to work with. And I'm gonna link down below what you wanna look for on the side, the stamp, to make sure that the wood is safe to use inside. After this happened, I got my pallets delivered. We got the wood! Let's do it! DIY ready. <laughs> And then came staining the wood, which I did for free. Take steel wool and put it in a mason jar and cover with vinegar. I added a few squirts of hydrogen peroxide because I really think this makes the stain turn out so beautifully. And you wanna let this sit for at least overnight. I like to distress mine too for the rustic look, and then you wanna take some tea. I use Lipton iced tea and let it steep for at least an hour. Then you wanna brush this onto your wood and let completely dry. Then you wanna take your vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and steel wool mixture and brush onto the wood. And after you start this process, you begin to question it, does it actually work? Because you're not seeing anything happening, but just trust me. After the first coat, this is what it looks like. Then once it completely dries, you want to add a second coat. And that's when you're gonna start to see the magic happen. By the third and the fourth coat is when you're really gonna see the color change and this is gonna turn into a beautiful gray. Then you wanna adhere your pallets together. I took a little bit of wood glue in between each of the pallets. And then, cause I didn't wanna spend any money, I took some old paint stirrer sticks and added some wood glue to them, put it on the back, and then I added some finishing nails to secure together. Next comes printing your decals. You could use stencils for this, find something on sale online. You could very easily find these on Amazon. Here I'm using the Cricut machine and I just took out the inside so I could quickly dab on some paint. To make the transfer easy, I use either Dollar Tree contact paper or painter's tape. Put on and peel back. and remove your contact paper or your painter's tape. And then I just used some paint I already had on hand in a dabbing motion with the sponge brush that I got from the Dollar Tree to fill in. Peel back and this part is really satisfying. This is such a beautiful project and I didn't have to spend a single cent. I only used items I had on hand. And if you want to, you can add a hanging mechanism to the back. I'll be sure to link these down below. It's really easy just to screw in. If you enjoyed this video and want more free and easy DIYs like it, you leave it a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Hit those notifications and subscribe so you can join the Dime Tribe. I make videos like this all the time and I can't wait to catch you guys soon. Bye. We are ready with this project. You must think I'm the dog. And a Santa hat. Dude, you're ready, man.